Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about how to get the sleeper simulant and review it afterwards. So let's get into it. The quest for sleeper simulant starts by just completing the Warmind story. You're getting a hand cannon called Icolus HCV 1.0.1. Its first step is to get headshots on Cabal and General Hive kills with this hand cannon on Mars. You need around 100 kills each I believe, I'm not exactly sure about this, but it takes a few minutes. I'm going to show two spots where you can farm those very easy and efficient. So let's have a look at these. For the Cabal, you want to head to the Glacial Drift and rotate between these two spawns I'm showing currently. The Cabal on both these spawns just keep constantly respawning by just, you see, those ships are constantly dropping down. For the Hive enemies, which don't have to be precision killed, you want to head over to Raytech Future Escape and enter this lost sector. There's a very high amount of hive in this sector, making you able to complete this step very fast. You just keep over and over repeating it. Once you cleared the entire thing, you can just go back and restart it. It makes it super easy. Next step requires you to get major kills while having the Icolos hand cannon equipped. Now here, an important note. You do not have to be on Mars or get the kills with the hand cannon. The fastest farm I personally found is on the Leviathan in the engine room. I'm currently showing its way to it. I personally used Actrius, but other heavies like rockets, coil stuff, fusion rifles, anything you want to use work just fine. You're just going to go in there. You're going to kill the first two watchers. This is, like I said, my is showing using Acreus. Then just wait in front of this door, kill everything what comes out of it. There's a pretty easy pattern to spawn trap all these guys. Clear the last two, watch this out, go back to the door, close, let it close, reopen, and rinse and repeat. And that's an easy way to get six majors at a time, which is the same amount as if you would start the raid over and over and over again. You just don't have to have yourself loading into the raid over and over and over again. Once you're done with those major kills, you have to do five heroic strikes with the hand cannon equipped. So now here, again, two important things. First off, do not... I repeat, do not use Boons of the Vanguard, Free of Coins, or Fire Team Medallions while doing these. Since there's currently a bug which makes those strikes not count if you use these. Second thing, you can use different guns in those strikes the entire time, as long as you put the gun on at the end of the strike before the mission end screen pops up. Next step is a bit harder. You have to collect 15 sleeper nodes and complete the level 3 escalation protocol. I'll be linking in the description down below me and my fire team's first completion of the entire escalation protocol, all 7 waves. And the first 3 are fairly relaxed, I can say. You're going to be having an easy time if you do it with a fire team and it just makes your life a lot easier, makes it coordinated and anything. Anyhow, let's have a look at these sleeper nodes. They work this following way. You have to get frequency overrides. To obtain those, you need four resonate stamps to craft one override, where you can only hold one override at a time. Once crafted, you want to read its description and head to that area. Music is used as indicator to tell you when you are close. The closer you get, the music will eventually change and tell you that you are really close. And by that, you're going to know, for example, it's somewhere around this room where I am. The best ways, and personally as well, the only ways I found of how to farm these resonate stems fairly fast are public events, patrols, and region chests on Mars. This exclusively can be only farmed on Mars. So, what I did, I just had, we were three people, all doing the sleep request at the same time. Just keep having three people. One person, for example, is going to use his override frequency currently, while other people do patrols, which is going to give you materials again, your resonate stamps, and it just speeds it up for all people together. So definitely your fire team is very beneficial, but I as well grinded a few of these overrides out myself. It doesn't take too long, it really doesn't. But anyhow, now let's move on to the last step, once you have completed all these. For this last step, you have to have the hand cannon equipped, and do a 360 power adventure slash strike. It is pretty easy, considering the boss pretty much just stands still while you just bake him. You can see us currently here, 
just shooting him all the time until he gets to his immune point. Once he hits his immune point, you just kill a few enemies, he comes back, and you clear him up. Anyhow, it is a pretty easy thing to do. If you do it with friends together, can be easily soloed as well, though. After this, you're going to go to Anabrae and acquire your sleeper simulant. Sleeper simulant, what's so good? Let's have an overall look at the gun and its characteristics. The first off, the gun has two shots and a mag and only holds eight shots mags. Compared to Destiny 1, it used to have three and a mag and we're able to hold 12. The reduced amount of ammo you can carry slash hold, I personally think is totally fine considering taking, considering how other heavies work in this game. For example, you can only hold six rockets, so it makes total sense having it this way. Two in the mag, I personally think is zero issue, considering you have rally barricades, Luna faction boots, all sorts of different reload types, as well as a hunter shade step. It is the heaviest gun in the game, which is beneficial for titan skating, just like in D1, like you can currently see here as well. It sadly do does not have a masterwork, but that might be get added later on into the game maybe we have another dlc definitely looking forward to that i really hope it will but if even if not it is still an amazing and outstanding gun i personally love it you pick up two ammo per break which makes sense due to its capacity of eight it almost one shots every major in the game it is a very good gun really high damage per shot and its charge rate is the unnerved version of destiny one i don't know if anyone remembers really of this but after the sleeper got released, a short time afterwards it got hit with a few nerfs over time and one of those was taking down its charge rate a bit and yeah, it's great to see its charge rate, ba charge rate back up, sorry. And anyhow, the most important part is that the sleeper ricochet rounds split. If you hit two body shots, it adds it up the damage of one single crit. but Anything above two body shots just ends up being pure devastation. You can currently see what it does to these enemies here. I took the example of these two colossi and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I could help you guys out and I will be catching you guys in the next one. Peace out.